Hello everyone, this is your dictator speaking. Uh, I'm announcing another block E. Uh, sorry everybody, but you know, when, when someone's trying to mislead people, <laughs> I'm going to block them. And our latest uh, block E is Zayman 27A. I believe I blocked Zayman 27 when he was trying to uh, spam the hell out of my channel with a uh, an Islamic website so he's he's adding an A on the end and he's he's come back with full force full power of his intellectual uh, arguments I'm just gonna share some of those that he's put on uh, comments for one of my videos uh, the video where he's put the comments uh, <laughs> is Vittorio walks right into it um, bear with me just a little moment while I find the necessary parts. Uh, no, that that was <laughs> that was that was uh, another bit which made me laugh. But let's uh, stick to the pertinent points. Um, Phil's that's me. Shoddy research. He says he can only find one reference concerning the expanding universe in the Quran, as translated by Basay. Um, he then goes on to, to list a number of um, translations claiming that they he, he does use the word indicate ex, ex, indicates expansion now that's misleading he says indicates expansion we're, we're not really interested in that Zayman we're interested in the word expansion and I'll, I'll use his uh, examples he quotes a man called Sale in 1734 I've looked that translation up. Uh, we have built the heaven with might and we have given it large extent. Zayman, dude, that just means we've made the universe and it's big. Not conclusive. In fact, it is conclusive, but it's conclusive that in this instance it does not uh, indicate expansion. Next one, Rodwell, 1909. And the heaven with our hands, we have built it up and given it its expanse. Zayman, that just says it's big. It doesn't say it's getting bigger and bigger every second. So, again, you're trying to mislead people. Um, he mentions Arbury in 1955, which we should remember is um, 20 plus years after the original idea of, of something that we could call the, the forerunner of the Big Bang Theory. So Arbury, 1955, after they've had 20 years to notice the uh, the opportunity to link expansion to Sura 5147. Does it say expansion? Well, let's see. Arbury, 1955, and the heaven, we built it with might and we extend it wide. That just means it's big. I've built a field. I've extended it wide. That doesn't mean it's continuing to extend, you doofus. Um, next ones. There's a list here uh, which may or may not use the word expansion. Oh, before I get to that, Palmer, 1880, long before the expansion, that apparently says ample space. Dude, that says space is big. Again, misleading people. I mean, I don't know how many times you're going to have misled them by the time I get to the end of this. Um, where are we? Okay, he's then got a number of translations which may or may not mention expansion, but because of the years involved, it's irrelevant. Um, Farid, 1969, 47 years after the Big Bang Theory. Zakan, 1970, 48 years after the Big Bang Theory. Irving, 1988, 66 years after the original idea that would become the Big Bang. The guy, this Zayman 27A, has just proved my points more beautifully than I ever could have done. Thank you, Zayman. Um, I'm even going to throw in uh, another translation, which I found on an Islamic website, from Abdullah Yusuf Ali. With so this is from this is from a Muslim, 
With power and skill did we construct the firmament, for it is we who create the vastness of space. Look, big just means big. It doesn't mean it's getting bigger. Because of the fact that you have mentioned these names and these dates as if they are proving your point, when after a few minutes of my own research I find out that none of them prove your point but in fact they all prove mine because of that deceit I'm afraid I'm blocking you too mate I do apologize to everybody uh, I really don't mean to make a habit of this but but when people are deliberately trying to mislead people when young Muslims might see this and think that this guy has got a point when all he's doing is misleading them I'm sorry I'm gonna block him every time simple as that you can debate you can try and answer points but if you're going to answer them dishonestly or in a way that might poison young minds as I see it then I'm gonna block your ass Zayman 27A Zayman 27B if he appears and C you are blocked bye bye and just as a quick update this Zayman guy has hit me with about 10 stupid, desperate, ignorant, misleading comments today. It's taken up well over an hour of my time. His latest comment is to question the unargued process of stellar nucleosynthesis, namely the, uh, the way that heavy elements are formed within stars. Now this is this is beyond dispute and this guy is disputing it he's disputing things he obviously knows nothing about I have delayed putting this video up on YouTube because I wasn't really sure that I really wanted to to ban the guy to, to block him but I'm afraid that by questioning established astrophysics he has shown that he really has no shame I am utterly disgusted in this individual. There is nothing he will not say to try and argue any point. If I say that atheism says that the sky is blue, he's going to tell me that it's purple, green with spots, anything that he can say. Uh, again, I hope I'm not seeming unreasonable to people. That is my greatest concern, but fuck it.